This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. All right, shalom, woman, shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwadash. I want to give double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone to teach from rule well, and peace, love, and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm the brother Yakal from Prophets in Babylon, Sarasota, which is a branch of the Prophets in Babylon Temple Church. Shalom to those brothers. <clears throat> And today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shum, Kwadash, I'm back with Lord willing and edifying lessons to feed the sheep who believe on those names in truth and in sincerity. Shalom to your families. And today's lesson, you know, is going to go into how you have to be in love with this truth, man. You have to be in love with doing the work of Yahweh, Baha Shum, Shai. Okay, and what inspired me is a clip. From a uh, a streamer uh, by the name of Phantom. Okay, he is a part of a group known as AMP, which basically they all stream and you know they bring, you know, lots of revenue into the house, you know. And um, basically, I took the meat from that and I applied the scriptures with it, you know. And uh, he said something powerful, man. Uh, he was um, basically saying like, nobody has to force me to do my job. Like I love doing this, you know. And I'm a, I'm gonna let you listen to the clip, but. For us brothers, you know, we shouldn't we shouldn't be forced to uh do the work of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. It shouldn't be a burden upon you, you know, to do the will of the most high, Yahweh by Shema Shai. You're supposed to love doing it, man. <laughs> you know? You're supposed to be in love with this truth. Alright. A lot of successful people, you know, like Bill Gates, you know, even though he's an Edomite, but I'm gonna name a few people. Bill Gates, uh Kobe Bryant. Uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Serena Williams, you know, um, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk. One thing they all have in common, are, besides them being multi-millionaires or even billionaires, is that they love doing their job. All right, it's not a it's not a burden for them to go to work and do what they love to do. It's not a burden for them, you know, to 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 put that work in. Floyd Money Mayweather, you know, it's not a burden for him to go to the gym and work out. All right. Why? Because he's in love with his job. OK. And they doing that for a corruptible crown. But how much more for us for an incorruptible crown, man? So I'm going to let this video play and Lord willing to satisfy him. I know the secret on why, I know the secret on why we make what we make. Because I know it's, it's, I, people know how much we make in this shit. Like, it's no secret, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to put two and two together, bro. The reason why we make the money we make. We like doing this shit. I don't force myself to do it. I'm out. See, he said the reason we make the money we make is because we love doing this. Now, in this truth, we're not making money, but I can put it in terms of the reason why you see certain men still around. All right. The reason why, you know, you see brothers around still after years and years and years is because they love doing this, man. You know, usually you have guys that, you know, they come in. And they love the, the, the look of being an Israelite. They love the look of, you know, the garments and the fringes, you know, and they, they love the thought of them having a kingdom and being rulers. OK, but when the work comes to play, all right, then God start leaving, you know, so you have to be in love with this truth, man. You know, you have to be in love with Yahweh Hashem outside. This can't be a thing of, you know, oh, shit. You know, camp day today, or oh, damn, I gotta do a video, or damn, I gotta do. Now nah, it should be, you know, you should love to go to work, just like these guys love to go to work, man. Now they're making money. We're not making money, but in exchange, you know, we're we're getting brownie points with the Most High Yahweh by Shemal Shai, which ultimately is going to lead to wealth. All right, but for right now, you know, we got to be in love with this job, man. We have to be in love with doing this truth, man. You know, it can't be a thing of a burden, you know, where a brother has to make you go to camp, which, hey, we ain't making guys go to camp. You know, guys don't want to show up. You just don't show up, man. You know, that's your salvation. But, hey, you have to be in love with this work, man. I'm going to keep playing it. Then I come back. You know what I mean? The Damn, reason why son. it comes off so natural is because it is natural. I like doing this shit. Look at this shit, folks. See? 
All right, you know, this thing, this thing, hey, it shouldn't be like a, a thing of you forcing yourself to do it. It should be natural. It should, it, you should naturally do the work of the Lord. It should, it should be like, it should be like second nature unto you. And for a lot of you brothers out there, it is like second nature unto you because you've done this before, man. <laughs> Scripture says the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So this ain't your first go around. That's why you can easily, you know, serve the Lord. You know, you can eat, you know, you can, it's, you, it's just natural. It's like you just going through the, <laughs> because you done did this already. All right, but I'm going to keep playing it. I'm not saying streaming. I'm just content creation, just being a creator. A lot of people, they see the money and they like, damn. I don't want to do that shit, but they want to do it for the money. Not knowing that when you get really good at something, the money just come with it. You call me shooting a billion shots a day, like Michael Jordan shoot. Them niggas love the game. When you love the game, the money just come with it. See? Was he saying some shit, <laughs> you know? You got to love doing this, man. You can't, you can't, you can't not love doing this, bro. You, you got to accept the, everything that come with this, you know? Michael Jordan shooting a billion jump shots. Kobe Bryant shoot. You think Michael Jordan just, just was, he was born Michael Jordan? No, he was made into Michael Jordan by the work he put in. Kobe Bryant, he wasn't just born Kobe Bryant. He became Kobe Bryant. He left behind himself a legacy from the work that he put in. Shit, Kobe Bryant was known for putting in work. Motherfucker would wake up at 3 a.m., go to the gym at 5 a.m., come back home, take a nap, go to the gym again at 9 a.m., come home, take a nap, go to the gym again at 12 p.m. You know, hey, he, that's the work ethic. But not saying, you know, we, that's the type of thing that we're doing, but just going to show you the, the mentality he had to be successful, okay, and the, and the time and uh, 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 work he put into mastering his craft, man. If they do it for a corruptible, how much more us for an incorruptible, see? Let me grab that right quick. Mm -mm. Uh, this is um mm -mm. first Corinthians nine of verse. Start of verse 24 it says, Know ye not that they which run in a race, run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain, right, bro? Labor that ye may obtain, bro. All right? And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it for a corruptible crown, but we for an incorruptible, right? So look, man, you know, we striving for the mastery. We striving, we working, we putting in work. You know, you got these guys right here, like this guy Phantom, he doing it for a corruptible crown. But even within that, he loves doing it. You know? So, hey, this is a job. We we have to love doing this. You know, you have to love showing up to work. Because a lot of times you get in that mentality of, fuck, I got to go to work. You know, you ain't going to have that job much longer, man. Either you're going to get fired or you're going to quit. All right? That's, 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 that's the reality of it. And you don't want to get fired or quit from this job, man. Because, hey, once you fire, you can't get hired again. You know? You don't do it for the money. It just happens to come with you that good at that shit, right? So first it was the YouTube phase. Everybody wanted to be a YouTuber. And ask them why. I want to make money out. Okay. Now it's the streamer phase. It ain't because they want to really be on some streamer sh I want to make. Like, bro, like, just find some shit you really fuck with. That you dead ass fuck with. Be the best at that shit. At, to the best of your abilities. And watch you be. You're going to be. All the money going to come in. You won't even notice it. See, so, you know, once again, it, you know, it's not a thing about money with us, but you got to take the meat from the bone. All right. So, you know, hey, man, we we in this truth, brothers. Hey, you love it, bro. Love this truth, man. Find what you find. Find, you know, yourself within this truth. Also, you know, whatever it is, the most high has put in your spirit to do, whether it is the prophesy, whether it is exhortation, whether it's charity. Whatever it is, man, you find out what you love to do for the brotherhood. You find out what you good at within this truth, and you fucking go. You 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 give your you give it everything you got, man. All right, you give it everything you got. Just like these guys, like I, I named a few names earlier. You got Kobe Bryant. You know, he wasn't taking a billion jump shots because he didn't want to. He loved doing it. He going to the gym. He taking a million jump shots. Hey, he loved doing that. All right. LeBron James taking all them shots 
Michael Jordan, Serena Williams, they, they didn't become these people because they hated their job. They became these people because they loved, they loved their jobs. They loved doing the work. They love the results from doing the work, okay? So, hey, we are we, we going to get results, man. Yeah, the money won't got no money right now. Yeah, we broke. Yeah, we all that, man. Hey, cool. But we still got to love this because we have to have the insight. Like this guy Phantom, this streamer, he's just saying, like, guys want to become a streamer to make money. But you, they, he, he said he became a streamer because he loved doing it. He said the money just came with it. That came, I came after the fact. So for us, brothers, though, we, we, we have to have a vision. Why are you doing this? You have to have a why. Every one of us has to have a why. You have to have a why. If you don't have a why, you're going to fail every time, bro. You have to have a why. You have to have a reason you get up and you do this work, man. You have to have a reason you get up and you strive for your how about Shima Shah with everything you got, man. You have to have a reason why. Or you're going to lose every time, bro. Every time, 100% guaranteed. I know I've been there. You have to have a reason. You have to have a reason you get up and you're, you're fueled to, to do be better than you were yesterday. You have to have a why. Don't do it because the next man doing it. Don't do it because it look you, you know you look you think you look good with garments and fringes and the bit. Man, fuck that shit, bro. You have to do it. Hey, you have to do it because you love your how about your mouth side. You want the kingdom of heaven. You want salvation. All right. You have to you have to love it, bro. You have to love it, man. This is um Saint John nine and verse four, and it reads, "I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day." The night cometh when no man can work. All right. So you have to work the works of him that sent you while it is day. All right. The night cometh when no man can work. You have to do the work while you have time to do the work. All right. Be a brother. You know, a hey, put put that work in, man, which ain't all about videos. It's also about how you conduct yourself behind the camera and all that things, too. But even with that, that that comes with loving what you do, man. That That's a part of it, too. You know, so, you know, we have we have to be in love with this, bro. This is our first love, man. You have to remember that this is your first love. You have to give it everything you got. Hey, sometimes you, you know, you slip. You may feel like you just you just in a pit, man. A lot of times that be with the streamers, too. Like, you you know, <laughs> before a massive breakthrough or something, you know, it's, it's, it's always like a wall you at, you know, before like a massive breakthrough with these, you know, with everything. You don't just become fucking successful overnight. It's time put into that, bro. Everybody, everybody sees the results. Everybody loves the results, but nobody loves the time and effort you got to put in to get to those results, man. Everybody want instant gratification, but you got to put time in for that, man. These guys ain't become who they are because they just were fucking, they had a name. Oh, he's Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant wasn't always Kobe Bryant, bro. He put the work in to become Kobe Bryant. You see, you got to put the work in to become who you want to be, who you want. Yeah, how about Shema was trying to make you into, man? You want to be a ruler? King David wasn't always King David, man. At one point in time, he was a shepherd's boy. See, but the work and legacy, the work he put into that legacy. Now he's King David. See, he's King David now. Now that name holds weight because of the work he put in for you. How about Shema was shy? All right. You want that too, brothers. You know, I want that too. So what we got to do, we got to put in the work for it. We got to put in the time. We got to put the energy in. We got to love doing it. You got to you gotta love to suffer. You're going to go through the mud. You're going to go through the shit. People are going to leave you. People are going to betray you. People are going to curse you. You got to deal with all that, man, to get, what you, to get to where you need to be. You're going to be criticized. You got to go You gotta go through all that, man, to get to where the most high, your how about Shema was shy, wants you to be. But it's all about how bad do you want it? Because if you don't love it, you ain't going to make it. That goes for me. That goes for all of us. You have to love it, bro. You have to love it. Not just the bitter. It's like you're not just the sweet, but the bitter too, man. You got to eat the whole roll. You know, so this was a this was a lesson. You know, I hope it was edifying. I hope it was exhorting. All right. We have we have work to do, man. We have to put it in. We have to grind for it. We have to we have to deal with it. That we may get to where we need to be, man. We want to be those judges, right? We want to be those righteous judges. We want to be of that elect. We got to labor towards that, man. And we have to love it. All right? You have to love it, man. So, hey, Lord, this is edifying. This is a quick lesson. And maybe I can come back with a part two or something like that. But, you know, for the right, for right now, 
that's going to be it. <clears throat> I'm going to close out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'akudash. Till next time I say Shalom, Kwame, Allah, Ababa, Ba'asun.